welcome back to my channel thank you all for joining me i hope you are doing very well sorry if i'm distracted um kirk is just leaving to go and drop his sister and her family off at a wedding um but he's got loads of cardboard boxes in his car and i'm not sure why because there's like a lot and they're all made up they're not flattened and he's like forgotten that they're in there and he's like oh i've got to go I could help, but I'll film the video instead, it's fine. Um, apologies for if there are any loud noises that irritate me, probably irritate me more than you outside. Um, there is a, we do live across the road from a wood um, and there are teenagers riding dirt bikes and motorbikes and mopeds and I thought, I think I saw a quad bike go up there. I don't think they're supposed to be doing it, but... If they fall off, it's their fault, isn't it? I hope they don't injure themselves, but they probably are going to. I wonder if they're mums now. Um, I have a ball of yarn in my hand because I did just start talking in this video and I really was rabbiting on. So I'm gonna try and condense it down a little bit and not talk about things that aren't interesting. Um, I'm still watching Kirk. I won't say waddling around because it's not a very nice word, but he's just sort of like strolling around. I'm like, you should be in a rush. Um, I have three things to show you today, um, only one is complete um, and that is, I'm really self-conscious of my arms, I know it's a bit silly but I just, I don't like them, I have like a poochy bit there so I feel like I'm, um, it's only because I can see myself, I'm, I'm always like, I'll let, you know, um, at work if you do something good they take your photo and I'm like, you can take my photo, you can do what you want with it but I don't want to see it, um, so <laughs> I've made some bunting um, it was a variegated yarn that I got from Wilco before they changed their ranges of yarn um, and it was reduced when I bought it so I only there was only one to get um, and I haven't I think I've had it since January and I've not thought of anything to do with it and I've started to reorganize my yarn a bit I'm doing it sort of in a way but I was putting all my 50 gram skeins together um, I have done now not I was I have I have um and this sort of i don't know it bothered me that it sort of like stuck out that it was the only one that there was one of and it just didn't go with any of the others so i have made a bunting and in the i have blocked the flags got fluff on it i have uh what washed and blocked i hadn't just did them like in the sink uh washed and blocked the flags to try and make them point because they did want to curl up and then i've just attached them um, doing like a slip stitch and I've used this very thin cotton and then just this yarn it sort of goes with the colours and I don't I don't know I just don't enjoy using it I love variegated yarn but I think this bugs me because it's sort of like as it twists like the colours disappear and so it just looks like you've got an off-white peak like an off-white square or whatever you've made so I don't love it um I like the idea of it I've got one, this is from Lolly's, I've got one somewhere, I don't know where it is. Oh, it's here. I've got this one. And I just feel like there's more colour on this. So this, I feel like this is going to show up better. I've got two of these. Um, but this doesn't show up very well and it doesn't feel as soft. So I've used it for the string, but I put the cotton in just because I've got some bunting on the garden and it has weathered quite well. I've left it out all over winter, which I hadn't planned to do. Um, and it's up against the fence, which is obviously rough. So it's like brushed against it and it has sort of gone a bit fluffy, um, but it has stretched quite a lot. Um, so I've just put a bit of cotton in. So there is still a bit of stretch to it, but it's not gonna go really saggy. So I've made a bunting or a string of bunting. Um, I did see someone on Instagram, because I've just left, I've left quite a long string and then I've left the string on the end and I've tied that in a knot, just like thinking that they could loop it over something or pin it up or whatever. But I did see someone had made, just made a circle that I think they just, it looked like they'd just done a magic ring, but left like a bit of a gap and made a circle and I thought that might be quite good to try on my next lot. Hmm, so I shall look into that. And then, I feel like that was really waffly. Uh, then I have made some larger bunting flags. I've got a couple more in here. I'll show you those as well. Uh, but these, Kirk said, 
that they look like pencils, which I suppose they do, but that's not what I was going for. So it's 20 rows, five of a neon colour, which this is like bright pink and it's not showing up that it's bright pink at all. And then bright orange. Yeah, this is... And then highlighter yellow, which is just washing out. So they are all really, really bright. It's just not showing. That might look a bit better. Uh, so five rows on the tip. And then I've gone up with like a a nudie colour. I was going to use grey. Um, but I thought this might. I don't know, just neutral. But then Kirk said they look like pencils. So I did kind of wish that I'd used grey instead. Um, so they just need stringing together. They have been washed and blocked. I'm not massively... I suppose they look all right. I just feel like we're, I've changed colours and I've sewn the end back in. I've like cinched it in a bit. I don't know. So there are three of each colour. So I've got nine all together. So I shall string those together. And I don't know. I don't know. I keep thinking about opening an Etsy shop, but then I'm like, well, what I'm going to sell, just crocheted bunting. And not that it's just crochet, but like, two strings of crocheted bunting is it does it warrant i don't know but we shall see about that i'm just just keep thinking about it and that's fine let me put that back it's the only part of the room that's not a mess that shelf so let's try and keep that bit tidy um and then i'll show you these because i've made them and then i'll move on to the other thing Ooh, i've made some more little flags oh and i've got one of I did, I thought I dropped all my needles then, but they're in this little tube that Kirk's cracked. There's no, I thought it went all the way in. Stop pushing. I've got an extra tip. So that can be a mini bunting or something. Um, I have made some little tiny flags. Uh, they haven't been blocked. This is the, that yarn. I suppose it does look better on camera than in, in real life, I think. But it's just, I don't know. I think maybe the one that's got like the the brighter colours in because these are a bit pastely might look a bit better. So I tried bunting and I've done five of those. So I'll probably use the rest of this to do a big string of these and they can go in the garden. And then I've done all different sizes. I think these were 11. These are 17. These are 20. And then I can't remember what size the other ones were. So I don't know why I've done it like that. Uh, I've just made two red ones. I thought I could do the colours of the rainbow. Or, yeah, colours of the rainbow probably. I can say all primary colours, but that's less bunting then. And then this and, and, oh, bunting. I need to tie that up nicely. I had it all organised. And this big old box, I've shown you many times, that's yarn bath that I just can't deal with. This box, which looks like Spaghetti Junction, contains the yarn that I'm making these little squares in. So it's just two rounds of granny. Two rounds of grannies. Um, this bag has completed ones that haven't had their ends sewn in and really because there's going to be so many i'm really trying to sort of do some and then sew some ends in and do some and sew some ends in because i think if i made the whole blanket and then needed to sew all the ends in i would lose m actually lose my mind um so there's a few handful in there and then i'm rather pleased with myself because this is the old it ha i have washed it out but this is the old toy basket for the dogs and it has been chewed by Hector. So it is clean, it just doesn't look very nice. So I don't particularly have it on display in the house, with any, like, not on display, but I don't want it in the living room because it's got teeth marks in it. So I should use it for crochet. Um, and yeah, I've made a whole lot of squares. There's a lot, there's another layer under there that I dread to think how many there is. I worked out, so I'm using about 20 colours and then I'm also using up scraps and I'm trying to do I don't know how to explain it so I'm trying to do it so that each of the 20 colours 
gets combined with the does this make sense let's see i took waffle 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 so what i'm doing is i've set them out in this box and then i've gone through and made probably like 25 to use with so to use what I've, pro I've gone through and made 25 middles in one color and then i've gone through all the colors and gone round each row so each one of this color has an outside in this color this color this color and then i've gone through the scrap bag with the extra ones and used up like the gray and the i've used this color as well this taupey color um and there's a few variegated ones and actual scraps because this was supposed to be a scrap project and now i'm just like attacking real yarn real yarn like scraps aren't real um yes so it's creating this is going to rattle a lot of ends i have them in a little sandwich bag um because you know i like to reuse them where i can but not on actual food um i don't know what this used to have in it but i have that and then that can go in my jar of scraps and I think I'm going to make one of those uh, Linny from Candy Girl, Candy Girl, sorry. Hello, Linny. Um, suggested, and I really like the idea of basically mixing that with PVA glue and setting it over a mixing bowl or whatever, making like a decorative bowl out of yarn. Ooh, and I thought all my little, oh no, that's attached to something, or like little bits could go in it in here. So that's what I'm going to do, I think, but I need more than this. And I think that that's all I've been doing. I showed you the shawls and the blanket last time, didn't I? Um, I have still not sewn in the tassel attachment ends on the blanket. That didn't make sense. Um, but I think that's going to be a Christmas present now. Mother's Day came and went and we didn't, it's for my mother-in-law, we didn't give it to her. Um, excuse me. So, what else? Oh, my stomach's rumbling. We overindulged in the alcohol ever so slightly last night. Kirk's sister came round. And between us, we had two bottles of Prosecco and half a bottle of red wine between the three of us. So we all woke up this morning with sore heads. Um, but we had a good giggle and we had good fun. Uh, I did invite them for dinner, but we just never ate dinner. We had lots of nibbly things. We had like olives and hummus and bread and everyone was fed and I gave the kids ice cream and I made them a sandwich and stuff. Um, sorry, cars, distraction. Um, so the kids were fed and they, they, she did say that they'd already eaten like late in the afternoon. Um, but we just sat and chatted and sang a lot of songs as well. We had the music on it. We came, after, when it got dark, we came inside and we had the music on. And rather than sitting and talking to each other, we were all sat singing the Greatest Showman um, soundtrack to each other, which, you know, is normal. Uh, but we had a lovely time. Um, and today's Saturday and I'm off work. So I still have Sunday tomorrow and Monday off with Kirk. Kirk's off Tuesday, but I am back at work. Um, but I think that'll be fine because we do tend to fall out if we have too many days off together and we're not we're not doing anything at all. We're gardening and tidying the house is what needs to happen. Um, if we had too many days off together and don't plan trips out or go on holiday or whatever, we tend to fall out of it. Not a lot, but just little bickers. But that's how we get through. <laughs> um, yeah, so I will be continuing with my little squares and i have bunting to string together and i don't know what else i'm going to be doing i've still got my granny shrug on the hook um but that's just not happening at the minute i think i'm just i don't know i don't think i'll be wearing it at the minute i think i'm going to be wearing it in autumn so i just have no because i'm not going to wear it i have no desire to make it really um, I'm sure when autumn comes and I want to wear it, I'm still making it. I'll be like, oh, we should have done it. But we'll see. And I don't really have anything else to tell you. So I'm going to go and keep it short. Rather than sat thinking of what I can bore you all with, you can go off and do something with your day or watch someone else that's probably worth watching. Um, yes. I'm sat looking at my lovely... I've, I've probably gone on about this blossom tree before. But we have a lovely blossom tree on the front. And I think it's about three weeks before it gets chopped down. And I'm so sad. But I just... 
we thought about uprooting it and putting it somewhere else but we don't have anywhere else unless we put it in the middle of the lawn on the back garden which I'm not doing because we've just paid to have the lawn well last year we paid to have the lawn put down so let's not do that um and it's massive and we've no way of like transporting it anywhere and the roots are getting really close to the house as well because we did think about just having half the front garden I'm looking at the tree while I tell you let me show you because we can enjoy together the windows are a bit dirty can you even say yeah look my lovely tree um oh, I dropped you in a box I'm ever so sorry <laughs> um well it fell in this so at least it was a soft landing um I forget what I was saying now I don't know I was waffling on about the tree and I'm just sad I'm gonna miss it anyway yes I'm going to go um and hopefully Kirk is going to be back sooner rather than later I think it's about it's in Derby so it's probably only about half an hour away about half hour but i think there's going to be a lot of traffic and obviously he's got to go and come back so i'm going to go and give the doggies some attention because we're going to go to the shop when he comes back so they'll be left for a whole 30 minutes and they'll be really sad about it and then when we come back they'll be jumping up like oh my god where have you been all this time as they do bless their hearts um I really am going to go. Thank you all for watching. I'm sorry that I didn't do a video last week. I just didn't have anything to say. But I promise that I will do one again next week. Maybe like Thursday, Friday. Give me a bit of a poke on Instagram. Be like, come on Ruth. You said you were going to do a video. Um, but for now, have a lovely weekend. Happy Easter if you are celebrating. Happy weekend if you are not. And I hope you all have lovely weather like we do. See you all soon. Bye.